In this problem, we have a mass spring damper system with uh, the respective mass, uh, damping constant, and stiffness. Um, and we're forcing it with uh, this mechanism over here. This mechanism essentially has an omega of 4 radians per second, so that's going to be our forcing frequency. Um, we're asked to find the damping ratio, uh, the phase angle of the steady state solution, the natural period of oscillation, uh, the period of the steady state response, and the period of the damped vibration tau d. So this is just a simple mass spring damper system. So we can use the equations that are provided in the formula sheet without having to derive them. But I'll discuss each of these equations in a bit more detail. So let's start with the damping ratio. So the damping ratio uh, is defined as uh, C divided by CC, which is equal to C divided by uh, 2 times m times the natural frequency, omega n. And the natural frequency, omega n, is equal to uh, the square root of k over m, the stiffness divided by the mass. Uh, so we can actually solve for this natural frequency. This is going to be equal to the square root of 39 newtons per meter divided by uh, 5.2 kilograms. And this will be equal to uh, 2.739 radians per second. We can plug this into the above equation, uh, where C is equal to 8 newtons seconds per meter, divided by uh, 2 times 5.2 kilograms times 2.739 radians per second, this is going to be equal to 0 0.2808. And this is our damping ratio. So this is the first part to our final answer. Now, let's look at the phase. So the phase phi is equal to arctangent of the following expression. 2 times the damping ratio times the ratio of the forcing frequency over the natural frequency divided by 1 minus this ratio of the forcing frequency divided by the natural frequency all squared. And if we plug this in, we get the following um, results. So 2 times 0 0.2808 times 4, the forcing frequency, that's 4 radians per second given in the question, divided by 2.739, divided by 1 minus 4, divided by 2.739, all squared. We get that phi is equal to negative 0 0.627 radians. Really important that we remember it is in radians, not degrees. Um, and we can convert this into degrees, but that is in radians. Next up, we are looking at the um, period. There's different time periods. We're going to analyze them all. Um, so first, we need to look at the period uh, of um, the natural period of oscillation, Tn, right? Um, so this is if there wasn't any forcing, if we let it vibrate, what is the natural period? And this has to do with the natural frequency. So the natural period, tau n, is equal to 2 pi over the natural frequency. And we have the natural frequency uh, that is equal to 2.739. So our natural period is 2.294 seconds. And this is, again, part of our final answer. Next up, we're analyzing the um, time period of the steady state response, tau naught. So tau naught deals with the steady state response. What is the steady state response? Well, that's just the, the forcing frequency, right? 
because after we start the system, uh, we reach the forcing frequency. So that's just 2 pi divided by omega naught, right? And this is equal to 2 pi divided by 4, which is equal to uh, 1.571. Seconds, and this is again part of our uh, final answer. The last time period that we're going to analyze is tau d, and this is the um, period of the damped vibration. What is this equal to? This is again equal to two pi divided by the damped frequency. Now we don't know the damped frequency, but we can derive it. Omega d is equal to um, the natural frequency times the square root of 1 minus the damping ratio squared. If we plug in the damping ratio and the natural frequency, we see that the damped and the natural frequency, we see that the damped frequency is 2.629 radians per second. So 2 pi divided by 2.629 is equal to um, 2. 390 seconds. And this is the final answer for the damped uh, time period.